let the action continue. <clears throat> I just thought this was a odd title. I don't really come across a lot of romance or war titles. And so this is Falling in Love, number 139, which blows my mind that this is on 139. So I only found that one romance book so far. Keep my fingers crossed for my night nurse. Uh, little G.I. Joe mini magazine. Thought was kind of neat. It's like the size of a TV guide. Uh, Marvel Premiere 3. Doctor Strange. Not the best shape. A 5. Looks like it was eaten by animals. So, horrible shape. And here. Check it out. But then... Like the six, that's yeah, perfect shape. Number seven, really beautiful cover. I like the colors on this. Eight. Another eight. A nine. Another nine, another nine, another nine. And I don't remember if this book was ever hot or just had hype for a little bit. It's just an early Rocket Raccoon. Another one of those, you know, the ad showing Rocket Raccoon. But some Marvel Tales, 25. There is boxes of Marvel Tales there. So there is a slew of this particular issue. <clears throat> this was kind of neat. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man 1. There's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen copies of this. I kind of remember this being one of the early Frank Miller things. This twenty-six, I took it, but it's not bad. You know, it's a an old Spider-Man issue number one. So that's kind of neat. How about? Stop that sliding. Um, got this little pile here. Marvel Features, Red Sonia, number one. There's a few of those. Four of them. Five of them. Five of them. Oh, six of them. Number two. Number three. Is that better? I uh, just thought this was neat too. Marvel features. Ant-Man. Just like the cover. Ten. Number eleven. Just thinks just reprints uh, Ant-Man stuff and Hulk and thing. Um, unfortunately, it's not the. Um, I think it's one twenty-two, but this is Marvel Tales reprinting Death of Gwen Stacy. Um, found two copies of Shazam 1, just chilling. A little bit of Flash books. I found a few boxes of these, actually, and I uh, I don't even know why these ended up coming home with me. But I, I did have this cover as a kid, and I just remember liking it a lot. It's one of those, they jump on that cosmic treadmill and run their way back to prehistoric time. It's a 269. Here's 270. 272. Uh, nothing major about these flashbooks, but they're they're clean, you know. So that's nice. And they are the Flash. And, you know, the show's hyping him up. 273. 274. This issue I remember was popular. I think it's the Death of Iris. 275. I like it. You know, it's a costume party, but it's neat with all the characters on the cover. There is a, a few copies of that. And there was an 80 page giant here, uh, 178. It's okay, except it's missing a piece of spine up there, you know. Sorry. Still neat cover. Green Lantern and bed, bed pan head flash here. All right, 
What else we got? Super Team Family. Number 13. Guess why I pulled it out? It's got Aquaman. Super Team Family 1. This is kind of weird to me, too. It's like, you got all these superheroes, and you have Heat Wave and Captain Cold. Maybe they got a story in there. Um, just saw this Secret Six One. It's Secret Society of Supervillains. I meant to bring home the whole set, but I, I guess I must have missed them. There was multiple copies of all these. There's number one, number two, number three. It's got Dark Side and Calabac on there. Number five. The Sinestro. Six. Number seven. Number eight. Another book I had as a kid. I really like Kid Flash, even to this day, probably because I had those books when I was younger. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number 12, and some of this art's kind of mediocre, but I, mean, I love the Crime Syndicate. You know, I love Reverse Flash, so I think it's neat. 13, she 14, again with the Crime Syndicate, she 15. I thought this was a neat cover too, it just kind of reminded me of the old Super Friends comics. Hang on. Next, we got us some Power Girl. Or more specifically, Showcase Presents, starring Power Girl, number 99. There's also 98. Uh, a few more Wonder Woman. 303. Really cartoony art on this one. 296. 294. Now here's what I was talking about before this whole uh, these ones that look like books. You know, it's a whole team of women characters. Wonder Woman, Wonder Girl, Black Canary, Supergirl, Starfire, etc., etc. The whole gang. You know, and there it says seven against oblivion and it's the seven girl characters. A couple copies of those. Book one. Wonder Woman with a weird cross-dresser guy. So, a little smidgen more of Wonder Woman. Alright. Last miscellaneous pile, then I got a couple larger runs to show. Uh, the Forbidden Tales of the Dark Mansion, number six. Just a horror book. You know, what I'm trying to do when I'm finding stuff is I'm trying to kind of mix it up in the video so you guys get, you know, a really good idea of, like, everything that's there. Uh, Forever People, number one. Uh, number six. Number three. Five. Another six. Number seven. You know, Jack Kirby books. Another number seven. Number eight. And I know I thought I grabbed all these, but you know, I, I'm making piles as I'm sorting there, and then I think I leave them. So I found the one that had the first Dassault in it, too, and I guess I left it there. Number ten with Dead Man. A few of those. Number eleven. Um... I wanted to show this because I thought this was kind of funny. There was Man-Thing, number one. This is the second appearance of Howard the Duck. Okay, There was four copies of this that I found. Honestly, I have a feeling there's going to be more of these Man-Thing number ones and the rest of the Man-Things chilling in there too. But um, Man-Thing had this series, then he had a later series you know, with the 40 cent cover price. Okay. 
this pile represents this. Man thing number one. Now this guy needs a movie to help me with. I don't even count him. He's got to be 50 plus man thing number ones there. And honestly, they're all super clean. As you can tell. And anyone who's got like a fetish for man thing, there's unlimited man thing right there. <laughs> well, that sounds wrong. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to this box. Ready? Okay. I'm just a fan of Mike Zek, so... Every time, you know, every time I'm out in the wild and I find this book, I just pick it up. So uh, here it is again, Captain America Annual 8. Uh, there were some low issues of Captain America. Nothing super low, no first Falcon, anything like that. I think 120 was the lowest. There's uh, three copies of 120. 122... The Scorpion. There are five copies of 122. 123. There are. Holy smokes. There are five copies of 123. So, whoops. Sorry. 124. And 125. And there were more issues after this. I just took the, the lowest ones I found. There. Okay. The Tales to Astonish. All right. The lowest issue that came across was number 74. Not the best shape. Still cool. Tales of Astonish got Namor on the cover. 79. Hercules and the Hulk. It's pretty decent, actually. 81. Unfortunately, this sticker is actually on the comic itself, this 15 center, so you'd have to goog on it or something. But for now, I just bagged it. 83. Eighty-four, eighty-six. So it kind of jumps around a bit. Eighty-eight, another eighty-eight, ninety. I like those colors that are you know or covers that have those vibrant yellows or reds on them. Ninety, first appearance of the Abomination in crap, crap shape. You know it's super shoddy. The 91 with Abomination on the cover, though, is in pretty good shape. 92. Another 92. 94. That's some wrestling action there. Another 94. 95. That's kind of a cool cover. The High Evolutionary. I like this cover, too, with Skull Island. Number 96, got a couple of those. One in shoddy shape and one in nice shape. I'm telling you, it's just so across the board with these things, like completely shoddy and completely clean. 97. Hulk doesn't like water towers. Oh, I like this cover a lot. Those monochromatic ones there. So 98. This one's beat to high heaven, but I think it actually is kind of cool. It adds to the nostalgia of it. It just looks like an old school comic, like it should. 99. Ooh, another 99. That one's really clean. 100. Another 100. 101. There's a couple 101s. All right, bear with me. I've got just a little more to show. Hold on. Got some 
fours. kind of a big Thor pile and I, again I only grabbed the older ones there of course the further up it gets there's probably every single issue but here's uh, number 132 I think Thor started like or Journey to Misty stopped around 128 or so so it's pretty early in the Thors 133 I'm gonna just kind of bust these out really quick so we can see what we got here 134 136, 137, this, I think this is the first appearance of Ulick, kind of the troll villain that he fights. 137, 138, as I remember there was a fair amount of 138s for some reason. There's five copies of 138. One thirty nine. Again, there's a few 139s. 140, 141, that's a pretty good cover. 142, Super Scroll, who's actually a... I really like Super Scroll as a villain. I hate the Fantastic Four, but I like Super Scroll. 142, 143, 144. I like this cover too, 145. A few of those, got the Ring Master here, Ring Leader. 146, 147, Battling Loki, uh, got three of those, 149, I think 148 is the first wrecker, so I know I already have a few 148 somewhere, so but it's just kind of a bummer that it, I guess I'm not going to whine about it, skipping issues. 157, 151. It's got the Destroyer on the cover there. There's four of those. 152. 153. Four copies of that. Alright, let's move this last pile. All right, 154. A few copies of that. They're all actually really clean. I got some corner wear. Spines are pretty good, though. 155. 156, 157, 157, okay, probably five of those too, 162, it's got Galactus, 164, and then I just jumped ahead a little bit, and I pulled this out because it's the first Fire Lord, uh, he's on the cover there, there's two of those. And I thought this one was funny, like, where's Galactus's pants? Um, the next pile of stuff I'm going to get to, I will deal with later tonight, bag and boarding it, and hopefully get a video up tomorrow. It's these two boxes. Sorry, it's dark over here. It's evening. Um, there's a lot of Batman titles in there. Um, some more Spider-Man. I don't remember. We'll wait and see tomorrow. But anyway, I just wanted to put another video up, um, and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, take care. Good night.